Hello everyone and welcome to Channel 18 TV News. I'm Don Julian. In the news, a young woman found deceased in 1989 in Williamson County has been identified using DNA evidence as 17-year-old Sue Ann Husky from Sulphur Springs, authorities reported during a news conference from Williamson County Wednesday afternoon. Husky was found deceased September 25, 1989, along the Interstate 35 service road in the Gerald area of Williamson County. Travis County Medical Examiner ruled her death a homicide by firearm. The investigation stalled after a release of her description to media outlets in 1989 failed to result in identification of the young woman they referred to as the Corona Girl because of the t-shirt that she was wearing, Williamson County Sheriff Robert Chowdy reported during a live news conference Wednesday afternoon. Williamson County Sheriff's uh, Department Cole Case staff began looking into the Corona Girl case in 2018. Partnering with the DNA Doe Project and working with numerous agencies and groups in 2019, officials used DNA evidence and research records to track Husky, starting with her great-grandparents to her parents, according to uh, Sergeant John uh, Pocorny uh, with Williamson County Cold Case Unit and Kevin Lord with DNA Doe Project. The family in Sulphur Springs was contacted. DNA was used to confirm Corona Girl to be Sue Ann Husky, the officials reported back on January 15th. Now that uh, Husky has been identified, the Williamson County Sheriff's Office will shift gears in the investigation. In, uh, uh, to focus on trying to solve the homicide. Chowdy and uh, Husky's family encouraged anyone with information about the uh, Sue Ann Husky case to contact the Williamson County Sheriff's Office. Republican and Democratic election judges and workers are needed for the March 3rd primary election and the general election on November 3rd, according to the Hopkins County County Clerk's Office. In order to be a judge or a worker, the individual must be a registered voter. They will be working election day only from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. Training is mandatory for the uh, primary election. However, the classes are free and open to the public. Five different election worker training sessions are scheduled later this month at the Hopkins County Regional Civic Center, taking place 8.30 a.m., 11.30 a.m., 1.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m., and 6 to 8 p.m. on uh, Monday, January 27th, and then 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., and 1.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Tuesday, January 28th. Those interested just need to show up at the Civic Center for training on uh, either day at any one of the available times, according to the county clerk's office. Also, those planning to vote in the uh, March 3rd primary election who are not registered will need to do so soon. Deadline to register to vote is Monday, February 3rd. A 22-year-old Cumby man was accused Wednesday night of driving recklessly through Sulphur Springs with his three-year-old and a weapon in the truck with him. Sulphur Springs police in arrest reports allege the man was driving a silver Chevrolet 1500 at 62 miles an hour in the 35-mile-an-hour speed zone on Gilmer Street at Kyle Street just before 7.30 p.m. Wednesday. The pickup, uh, police alleged, continued accelerating as it entered the 30-mile speed zone on Gilmer Street. The driver then changed lanes from uh, Oak Avenue to Gilmer Street when unsafe to do so in front of other motorists. Sulphur Springs Police alleged in arrest reports. When officers uh, contacted the driver in the 200 block of Gilmer, uh, they discovered that he had both his uh, three-year-old daughter and a handgun that he didn't have a license to carry in the truck with him, 
police allege in arrest reports. The man was arrested on both misdemeanor charges. Cooper Lake State Park Complex Supervisor Steve Killian visits here monthly to share exciting news about our state park. We have uh, one of the best in the state of Texas. Uh, we have actually two state parks around Cooper Lake. We have the South Sulphur Unit, which is in Hopkins County. It's the larger of the two. And then we have the Doctors Creek Unit, which is in Delta County, which is a, a great park in and in, in of itself. I love being over there. We went to a music event you had on Doctors Creek side, and it was so pleasant. It was kind of on a rise where people put their chairs, and then there was the restroom facilities, and there was kind of a beach-like little uh, edge of the water. Yes, yes. That When we envisioned the concert, uh, I wanted to envision the perfect venue, and where we placed the stage, the backdrop of the lake, we had individuals listening to the concert in their boats. Mm -hmm. and in lawn chairs, it was just a great evening. Well, will there be anything, something like that, on our side? Well, you know what? I'm ho I hope so. We have these ideas that uh, we can have a, a really big concert on the South Sulphur side, bring in people from Sulphur Springs, Dallas, Mount Pleasant, and the like. And we have lots of parking, and probably we have more parking lot space at Cooper Lake State Park South Sulphur Unit than pretty much any other state park in Texas. So really? we yes, so so we can actually uh, service a fairly large event. We have restrooms and and the like, and a great staff. So so they're my staff. They're always looking to do fun and interesting things for the community. Well, and people can listen from their boats there too. Yes, actually, actually, where I have envisioned placing the stage. You're actually going to be even closer to the stage venue in your boat at the South Sulphur Unit. <clears throat> and I think that people over at the beach could also hear the music. Absolutely. There's a, there's a clear earshot that would go from the, from the stage all the way to the swimming area. So it, it, it has the potential of being just a great evening. Uh, and all it takes is like-minded people getting together, planning, and just making something really fun for this community. Well, the offers from Cooper Lake State Park uh, are always there. And so maybe some days or some weeks or months we feel more like taking advantage of it than we do others, but there's lots going on year-round. There's always a lot going on at Cooper Lake State Park. For example, this is January. People don't think about going to the park in January, but I promise you, at Cooper Lake State Park, this January, we have so much going on. Uh, for example, we have uh, a trout fishing family fun event that is going to be it's going to be on Saturday, uh, the 25th. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Our inland fisheries group they're going to they're going to place uh, a thousand rainbow trout in one of our ponds. Uh, we can't actually stock the rainbow trout in the lake because the Cooper Lake is 20,000 acres. A thousand rainbow trout in 20,000 acres. Probably our fishermen wouldn't catch many trout, but if we stock them in the pond, it's going to be a really fun event. And okay. uh, we're going to have rangers there, fish with a ranger. We're going to teach you about trout, the outdoors, and the like. It's going to be a fun, fun time. I didn't know we had a pond. Well, actually, Cooper Lake State Park was, was comprised of many homesteads, and most homesteads right. had a pond. So if you look at Google Earth, you'll see multiple ponds scattered throughout. And we have one pond that's fairly close to park headquarters that we've designated for youth fishing events or just trout fishing events. It's not open the year round, but, but it's open for events like this. How great. It is. It's going to be fun. And, 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 and we're, one of the, we're one of the few places in the state of Texas that actually stocks trout. I know there's a pond here in Sulphur Springs that they stock, but, but I'll, as soon as I came on board at uh, Cooper Lake, I wanted to get trout in the park, and they're going to be in the park this year. So the TPNW people will stock it, yeah. and then you open it for fishing. And then we open it for fishing that, that Saturday. And it will be in February? No, it's going to be this month. It's okay. going to be a week from Saturday. It's going to be a, a trout fishing family fun event, and there's a $5 entrance fee for adults to get into the park. The event in, in and of itself is free, but to get into the park is $5. Kids 12 and under are always free at all Texas state parks. So Why aren't we all going more often? Just look at those cheap rates. It's Okay, like I say, this is the cheapest date in town, folks. I mean, <laughs> it is. I mean, if you want to spend the day with the family, 
it's a very inexpensive way. If you go to the movies, I love going to movies. But if you go to the movies, you're going to you're going to drop almost a hundred dollars if you have a family. If you go to Dallas shopping, all right, I don't know how much you're going to spend. But but for fun, memory making, these state parks, Cooper Lake State Park, Dangerfield State Park, Tawakini State Park. I mean, I can go on and on. There's 88 state parks. Wow. Uh, and they're all very economical. Great view sheds. Just a great place to spend time with your family and friends. Well, we've got about eight more minutes to talk. So to nail down the date of the trout fishing event on the our side, yes, South Sulphur Unit at the pond, at the ponds, at which we'll find out where. January twenty fifth. January twenty fifth. And it's going to be from eight thirty to four thirty. That's when we'll have staff on hand to 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 <laughs> fish with a ranger, talk to you, uh, learn about nature and the like. So that's it's going to be a fun day. But, but we have a lot more going on as well. Are there any guided things? Okay, the guided things. We're, we're going to have a on on this this Sunday, uh, January nineteenth. We're going to have a a guided walk and talk. We're going to talk about beavers. Hmm. Yeah, there many, many beavers are found in Cooper Lake State Park uh, in Cooper Lake. Probably not in the main body of the lake, but in the coves and the creeks. Uh, nature's architects, nature's engineers, and, and we're going to have a ranger there talking about that. Hmm. Uh, also on Saturday, this Saturday at two o'clock, we're going to have archery. It's, uh, if, you, if the kids want to learn how to be archers, bring them out to the park. And uh, Miss Bianca Banda, our our awesome interpreter, she will teach the kids safely how to how to become crack shots with a with a, with a bow and arrow. When I went to summer camp as a child, I discovered that I was an excellent archer. I could hit a target every time. Really. Well, maybe you should come out. <laughs> I, okay. guess. Yeah. I haven't tried in years. That's great. So, uh, but we, it's a it's a it's a fun 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 weekend. Uh, also on Saturday the twenty twenty fifth, which is not this Saturday, but next Saturday, because I know people are planning for the future. Uh, we're getting, we're having an astronomy um, stargazing. It's, yeah. it's going to be six o'clock. And it, that's that's going to be that's going to be fun, and that's going to be at the South Sulphur Unit, okay. and that's going to be depending on weather, of course. If it's a day like today, there's probably not going to be much uh, stargazing, but but hopefully, odds are it's going to be a clear clear night. There has been some good weather this month. A nice day. Oh, uh, we've I went to uh, I went to to Fort Worth to the stockyards day before yesterday. It was 71 degrees. It was. Perfect. So, I mean, we're blessed in, in North Texas, Northeast Texas, that we have really good days in the winter that we can enjoy. Mm-hmm. Now, most days are cool or rainy, but but we do have these scattered days that you can get out. And I do uh, encourage everyone, come out to Cooper Lake State Park, enjoy the outdoors, enjoy the trails, and just let's, you know, we're there to, we're there to, to serve you. It's your park. I'm just a caretaker. It is very pleasant just to meander down through the the driving roadways. You don't even get off the road that way, but you just drive and you get that sense already of of the, how pleasant it is. It there. is when when the park was designed back in the back in the late eighties and built in the early nineties. They could have easily had roads running, you know, at right angles. But but these natural architects, I mean, they have curved roads, <laughs> and it gives you this this sense of of well-being and then tre- the trees, tree line roads. So, what about the equestrian trails? Well, we have we have a trail ranger, uh, uh, Ramon Diaz. He's from he's from uh, uh, Hopkins County. He's he. Well, we were fortunate to find Ramon. He he retired from uh, twenty years with the U.S. Army, and we thank him for his service every day but he he chose to spend his time and his talents here with cooper lake state park and he's doing a great job rehabbing our trails building new trails uh, we have probably 15 miles of trails uh, on that on that equestrian side and, and we're looking at building more trails and ramon's leading the charge with that and i'm trying to pr- provide ramon with all the all the financial support i can uh, so he can do the best job he can building trails for for hikers and equestrians equestrian users i see that as someone who is actually out there you know a horseback going and seeing um what there is and what work improvements can be made. yes so so we're we're always looking for volunteers so if, if people are out there and they want to give back to the community cooper lake state park's a great place to, to give back we have uh, we have needs 
Uh, we we don't have all the staff we need to do everything we we need to do, and that's where volunteers come in. Okay. So so if you're interested, give me a call at the park, and we can talk and and we can we can put you into a project or a line of work at the park that you would would feel satisfied with. Hmm. Tell me once again about that season pass. Okay, the season pass. That's a Texas State Park annual pass. It's seventy dollars, and it's a when you buy it, like like Enola, if you bought that and put it in your name, then anybody in the car with Enola would get into any of our 88 Texas State Parks. So so one, you and Enola plus 14 of your closest friends. I'm assuming you have at least 14 I'm a friends. Passenger. Okay, so so you could get everybody into the park, any state park, any number of times. So so if you love state parks, that's the way to go, and and you could actually be a, a passenger in somebody's vehicle as well so as long as you're in the vehicle okay everybody in that vehicle gets in free what what i do is i'll take the card i'll, I'll get your id and then i'll scan it i'll see the card's yours count the number of people in a vehicle because we keep track of of all those numbers and then we uh, we issue a permit and just welcome and give you a map and then boom you're off in the park having fun you know that just brings to mind so many possibilities there's people so many so many possibilities that we have with um with uh, utilizing the park and the, the park pass is like your membership okay. so it goes all the money all the proceeds go directly to support texas state parks and every, all the good things that we do well that 70 dollars helps make more well i know that the majority of us take our state parks for granted they're always there we're going to go sometime but we need to start going. To start going. If you get out and get and get active, you're going to get healthier. And Texas State Parks are a great place. Now, here in Sulphur Springs, man, you guys have a great park system. I, util, I utilize it. But if you want to have a little more uh, wild experience, uh, Cooper Lake State Park with our with our trails through the through the forest. That that that's really where you can get that immersion experience. And it is a good time to start at the first of the year. Yes. Uh, New Year's resolutions, everybody raise your hand. How, how many people said, I want to get uh, he healthier? I mean, pretty much everybody. I'm raising my hand right now. So, uh, But having a hike-based uh, health program, along with going to the gym. I mean, I go to the gym here in Sulphur Springs. But, but, I, but I think any time you have a varied workout and hiking in the woods... Studies have shown, and that's one way to to really uh, build your esteem, well-being, health. I can just go on and on. So, so utilize the park and that overall health program that you have. Well, hike hike up once or twice a week. Still go to the gym. Still use the parks here in Sulphur Springs. But, but yeah, add add Cooper Lake State Park to that to that overall mix, and I think you'll be happy you did. Well, you always bring good and upbuilding news to us when you come in monthly here on the radio. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Steve Killian, for all that you bring and what you're doing out there at Cooper Lake State Park. Okay, thank you. Appreciate you. In sports, the Sulphur Bluff Lady Bears basketball team overwhelmed Bloomberg in district play 67-12 to on Tuesday. The Lady Bears outscored Bloomberg in every quarter, leading 19-4 after one quarter, 34-9 at the half, and 50-12 after three quarters. Skylar Stanley had a big game with 21 points, 12 rebounds, 6, a steal, six steals, and an assist. Bailey Neal scored 11 points, had one rebound, two steals, and an assist. Delina Donato had nine points, had four rebounds, two steals, and an assist. Angel Brown had seven points and seven rebounds with six steals and two assists. Jada Wade had six points, seven rebounds, and four assists. And Lady Bears coach Zandra Payton said Wade also had a big defensive game keeping Bloomberg's key player from scoring any field goals and limiting her just to a pair of free throws. Allie Colette had five points and an assist. Molly Kelly had five points, one rebound, one steal, and three assists. Tori Rainey had three points, five rebounds, and five steals. Lydia Drummond had five rebounds, one steal, and one assist. Coach Payton said all team members stepped up and had a great game defensively and offensively. 
And that's Channel 18 TV News. I'm Don Julian. Thank you for watching, and so long, everybody.